You brought seven birds here? The baby? My neck. Oh! Hello. I don't have names for them. Well, I don't know. They were like thing one and thing two. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, do you want to hold pesto? She looks very preoccupied. Did you see hair. what pesto did? She's going in your hair. But she, she kissed, kissed my oh. head. That was the best thing ever. My fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings, my name is Marlene McCohen, and welcome to my channel because today we are going to have so much fun. You wanna stick with this because you're going to get to see some birds that you, some of you may have seen these kinds of birds before, some of you may have seen them on my channel. So, here it goes. Hi, I got a few in the car, I gotta bring them. And you got this harness on and you don't like it? You wanna come meet my birds? So guys, all of her birds are tested for all kind of avian diseases, as are mine. So it's okay for these birds to come and hang out for us for the day. Oh my God, what's this is in there? The baby? My neck? Oh! <laughs> Wait, there's more. Oh, there's more? I just love you, Casper. Wow! Wow! Kissing me already? This bird has a great temperament. I had her bring something for you to look at. God! That's Why is that happening? This is because I know. I know it's not the exact one you loved and experienced with, but oh, it's God. one that I know you love. Oh my God! Oh my I know, she's God. so sweet. So it's a very sweet primus. <laughs> so I thought you'd be really excited to meet and hang out with one today. Oh my God. These two are gonna be nuts. This house is gonna be tore up. How do you do all this in heels and with five kids? Well, I had them help. <laughs> <laughs> and then pull them out. You're okay. What is that? Wow. <laughs> How many is this? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm, I'm most excited about the baby right now. Really? Mm -hmm. You're my favorite, and you're my favorite. Oh, oh no, all of them. She's very sweet. She didn't want you no She's more. really mad at me about that harness. <laughs> I'm, I'm your new favorite. Usually it takes two seconds to fall in love. Okay. And she usually likes men. That's what's crazy. Really? Let me kiss her. Let's go to the bird party. Okay, let's find some spots for you guys. Hey, that's my key. Hello. He's gonna be so jealous now. He's gonna be so mad. Just because he's be she's beautiful doesn't mean you're not beautiful. Ty is a creature. Hello everyone. I ordered something from Chewy.com and I think they made a mistake because they sent me a baby bird. Look at you guys. These two are gonna be nuts. Who do we sniff first? Oh, <laughs> got tired already. Oh yeah, you want me to pick him up? Yeah, he's so he loves women. Look, this is pesto. Pesto. Pesto smells the best, though. Hi, do you remember me? Look at the special red on your beak. This is how I test the waters with a bird to see if they want to step up. Just kind of. Now, how does Pesto like to be handled? Like, does Pesto like some head petting, some scratches, some cuddles? Um, my daughter is the one that, my 13-year-old is the one that scratches her the most. She likes her the most. They're wonderful family birds. I mean, she's the most chill bird I have. She's the sweetest to everybody. Her best friend is my Amazon. They're like buddies, and they go everywhere together. They're quiet, they don't make a lot of noise. I mean, you can leave them with anyone. And she's very friendly. Step up. I'd like to sniff you. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my god. Megan, do you want to hold pesto? 
She looks very preoccupied. Did you see hair. what Pesto did? She's going in your hair. But she, she kissed, kissed my oh. head. That was the best thing ever. How are they all out together? Are they all safe? Yeah, she's the biggest troublemaker, Casper. Oh. She Casper. will. Yeah, she's the one who. Casper needs the troublemaker. Sometimes you, she has to be separated, so when I take her out, everybody else has to be in because she will dive bomb them and, and the kayaks won't back down. But otherwise, everybody else comes out. I have a bird room, so they all hang out. If you see an incident happen once or almost happen once, it's going to happen again. And that means never take a chance, never leave those two or that bird unsupervised and just always be aware. Ty Ty, is this your new girlfriend? Yes. He's like, bye mom, no. Hey baby, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. I don't have hair like Marlene. So as far as climbing up on my head, I think that's out of the picture. Oh wow, she smells great. I know, right? Those two I'm assuming are troublemakers, no? They're actually my nicest ones. They're brother and sister, and they're actually very sweet. Here you go. Come on. Oh my goodness, look at you guys. Like they look like twins. twins. I can't tell them apart. I really can't. And I can't even, I don't even have a name for them. I call them the Mennoniks in Armenian. That means the little bitty ones. I don't have names for them. Well, I don't know. They're like thing one and thing two. <laughs> <laughs> what do I name them? Mennonik one. And I don't know which one's the girl and the boy. I mean, I did at one point. I tested them. <laughs> and then, like, the feather really grew out. It looks like twins, though, I'm not like, gonna lie. How can you tell them apart? My daughter can tell them apart. I think, you see, if it was gonna go by Nelly and Monty, then this would be the boy and that would be the girl. Because you see this one standing tall and this one's leaning over. Who are you? <laughs> I always do that. I'm like, who are you? I'm out of names. I have a lot of birds. <laughs> hi. Hi, hi, hello. Hello, there's no nail in there. Wow, they do everything together. Mm -hmm. They're like used to being like together. The yeah. two-headed bird. Basically. After you know if it's a male or female, this part becomes obvious. How they grab on. You know, potty? Let's go potty. Ooh, good nice bird. Cat. Yeah, good bird. You're very, look how proud you are. So the other thing I notice about male versus female is if you have ever seen them, you know, try to mate. Getting hormonal. And then the other way is the stance I notice on a lot of birds. Hey, you're so busy, I can't see your stance. This one has like fuller feathers, do you see? And the one yellow spot, and this one has yellow all throughout. So knowing that, we can now name you guys. Which one do you think is which? I think this one's the female. I think this one's the male. He's got a grip on me. Guys, Tina has five kids. There's so much room for all these birds to get played with and they all love birds. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've ever officially like talked about kikes on our channel. Like they've seen them. Do you want to tell everyone what it's like? Because right now they look so easy to deal with. But yeah, they're I mean, not an easy. They're not an easy bird just because they're small. They're very rambunctious. That's what it is. And they bite really hard. These two? Oh yeah, if they want to, they can. Um, they will not back down from other birds, so they will go down to the mat. I mean, they're clowns. They're funny as all out. They hop around. And they remind me of the penguins in Madagascar. They remind me of lorikeets a bit. You ever had a lorikeet? You don't very silly. <laughs> don't get me started. They will wrestle in their cage. It's so funny. They will wrestle. One will be on top of the other. Or they'll hang upside down like chicken fight. They're a riot. This is what I learned about myself. Ringnecks, mustache parakeets are my favorite bird in the world. Mustache parakeets are my most favorite bird in African greys. Hello, you a good bird? You a good bird. What's her name? Bomb. Bomb? Like, well, bomb I bomb. thought he was a boy. You know Look that sounds he like. Is. He's like a bomb. Well, my kids named him, and then it turns out she's a girl, so we call her Bomb, but legally changed her to Bomba. So she's basically an Israeli snack. 
Let me get the bomba bag for you. It's like peanut butter. It's like a cheese puff peanut butter. That's you. Look at this chunky happy. one. She's really fat, actually. She's a borb. <laughs> Small little beak. My cockatiel had a nice big head. I think cockatiels are great birds. They have so much personality. They're so sweet. We have how many birds in the house right now? How many did you bring? You brought seven birds here? So we have like 12 plus seven. 19 birds. Ah! Woo! You guys are so well behaved. Why do you think that is? Wow, you came to listen to the story? I'm gonna tell you about how Parrot Station built a sanctuary. Do you wanna know all about that? You guys are so important. Look at this toy. Tell me it's not the best toy. ParrotStation.com. Look at you playing with that. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Let's Instagram you. <laughs> Something very special happened today. You wanna to see what I got? Wow, well, look at this guy. Hello there. Who's that? That's our new bird. What? 